going on, people? Welcome to another episode of The Take On with myself, Flex, Abby Summers, and Anton Ferdinand. What's going on, people? Hope you guys are good. We've got a lot to talk about in the show today. Abby, you, uh, listen, mate, <laughs> you were in trouble. You've been in trouble all week. And um, it's, it's a bad week. It's a bad week. It's a bad week. It's a bad week for you. Um, but before we do get into that, Anton, um, I did see uh, that John Terry had been on a podcast um, sort of talking about your incident. Um, I just, I know you wanted to say some words on that, really, because I, I think we've all seen that sort of during the week. As you know, I've done a, a documentary for the BBC, um, which stated all the facts, which he actually declined coming on. I wanted him on there to create positive change. I've seen what he's had to say on Simon Jordan's uh, podcast. So my thing is this, if you really want to make positive change, I'll sit down with you with live cameras rolling, so there's nowhere for us to hide. We'll look at the actual footage, unblurred, and we'll start from there. If you don't want to talk about it like that, as far as I'm concerned, the case is closed for me. And, and this is what it is. But, Abby, <laughs> let's start with you. No, let's just, start yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Where would you like to start, lads? Cool. <laughs> you came on and you looked in camera four with chest <laughs> and said, camera four, honestly. we need to do what we need to do. Yeah. We need to stop Arsenal doing what they got to do. Yeah. However, you come up so short we're that short in the end. No, Just no, a goal. No, no. Okay, let's let's talk about your first half then. Yeah, yeah. Very, yeah, very yeah. short. Yeah, yeah. 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 What yeah. happened, man? Talk to us. <laughs> what happened? Um, what happened? Um, <sighs> was a long day. What can I say? Wasn't how I how how I envisioned it going. Um, I think that when you just piss about with the ball at the back for fun under no pressure whatsoever and then just give away, you know, a corner, set pieces when you are one of the worst teams in the league at defending set pieces. I think you're just asking for it. I'm not a fan of zonal marking because it's clearly something that we can't do. I hate that, by the way. Hate it. Really stupid. And like, we're conceding like probably on average between probably like two goals a game, right? That's so so bad, if yeah. it's clearly not working, my question is why, why are we not changing that? Like you had two weeks to prepare for this game between the battering at Newcastle and... Ooh, the oh Arsenal yeah, game. the battering. Yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, I, I have to hold that. Like, mm. it was a battering at Newcastle. And, and Arsenal pretty much just kind of looked at the way that we played against Newcastle and just said, no problem. You can have all the possession. That's, that's absolutely fine. You can have all the ball. 63% um, of the ball. Um, you know, nice little Good little start that. So, so, Good start that. So and, I, I just yeah. want to say, like, based on the actual the set plays and the, and the corners and the zonal marking, I, the reason why I hate it and I hated play, doing it mm. when when I played and whenever it was talked about doing I always said no on the basis it takes away people's like accountability yeah for sure do you know what I mean someone might just run in the zone whereas it's like not my man exactly whereas if it's man mark man marking if your man scores it's your it's on you and that is it yeah and you hold your hands up. But like, you've got leaders like Romero in there. You've got well, in all, like in all fairness you know, to Romero. best sign in the season. Wow. You know? You've got you a said. lot in there. In, in fairness to Romero, se he was trying to push us back into that game. He was playing up front, up front second yeah. half. Yeah. So I'll, I'll give him credit for that. But I think, you know, f first half, it was... It was over. Well, Arsenal just it came was over. Where you unlucky because of the penalty. I, thing, I would say the a bit. Offside. I'd say a bit of both. Honestly, I feel like Arsenal. Like I said earlier, Arsenal said you can have all the ball. That's not a problem whatsoever. We know we're, we can hurt you. You know, ball over the top, you'll get undone, which is what happened for the second goal. Mm -hmm. Set pieces, we're the best at it. We know how how crap you are at it, and that's exactly what happened. The Van der Ven one, a okay, chaos offside, but I would say it's a very similar goal that went against us for, in the West Ham game. Yeah, very very similar. That goal was given, and this one wasn't. Lovely. Mm, Kulisevsky <laughs> Kulisevsky that's a penalty for me that yeah. apparently didn't even get a review which I find odd that that didn't even get a review I can see I can see Joel Bayas just sitting objection <laughs> you would have an objection wouldn't you Joel you're not coming it's, on you don't want to show your face I said to you come and he's sit the, here he's earned the right come to do what he wants to I do I told you here. last week Three point come and Ms. sit Abby here Summers, if that's your real name the oh, Arsenal gosh. that's my real name Arsenal oh, are top of the league Cool. As it stands. Cool. We're talking about and I do though. not need to associate myself with you. <laughs> Joel, oh, what, no. was, what was your... Just uh, behind a little microphone. <laughs> You're a little troll. That's what you are. Oh, you God. are a troll, Joel Bayer. If that's your real troll name. Troll the Joel. Tro Joel, Joel the, the troll. troll. Joel the troll. Joel the troll. Joel the troll. Joel. So what we got? 
Triple F. <laughs> what did they call you the other day, Abby? Say it. I'm not talking about Come on, no, no, say it. No, it's no. in the comments. Come on, don't do that. What did they call that? You say it. No, you oh, say it. Don't do that. Are well, you, you really not going to say no, it? I ain't got it's, one. Oh, no, you know blessed. what? I'm blessed. I need to make you one now. I'm blessed. I need to know what it is. I'm going to find it. I'm going to. Okay, Joel the Troll. Troll in. Joel the Troll. It's probably you in the comments. Joel the Troll Bayer. Joel, what are you saying from that? Because a lot of Arsenal fans felt that that Tottenham game was an acid test. That's the one. If they go and win that game, um, you go on to win the league. Or, well, you go on to win the rest of your games. Anyway, the rest is obviously in City's hands or whatever. But how do you feel about that from an Arsenal perspective? That confidence and winning that game, do you feel just the same? Do you feel like, oh, I suppose we're better than them? Or do you feel like actually it's a big statement? Huge, huge, huge win against Chelsea is what helped us there. Mm. I think if we don't perform the way we did against Chelsea, given that five-star Arsenal, yeah, then we don't have the same confidence in the game. I mean, you could see it was still nervy for us mm. when we started in the first 10 minutes. You know, I was looking going, oh, you can tell that there was a, a bit of nerves there before Romero's gift. It, it was like, it, it, you could tell that it, it might go either way. Mm -hmm. But the fact that we got the goal so early on allowed us Calm to be down. the Arsenal that we have been throughout the... Mm. Spurs just let you have that. I mean, to be fair, you gifted us two to get back in the game, but it was it was over. The, it was over. It was a game of gifts. In literally, the North London derby. it was That's over. Crazy. It was over before the second half because second half, obviously, Ange had to make some changes. Whatever, we looked a lot does better. It, but it, uh, Arsenal wait, didn't need to do anything. Oh, changes to personnel. Changes to personnel. Okay, I mean, yeah, there were no tactical changes. There was nothing tactical for life. I was just asking, just just ask the question, Abby. Yeah, yeah, easy, easy. Ladies and gentlemen. What, Boys Joel? and girls, I've just found the name that we've been looking for. And going oh, forward no. from now on, oh, no. she is going to be known as Double S, <laughs> which it? stands for Shameless Summers. Oh, <laughs> wow. Shameless Summers. That's about, that's, I, I, can, I, can, I can do that. All right, flip flop. Shameless yeah. Summers. <laughs> we need to get, right, you need yeah. a nickname now. I ain't got one. Okay. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll find you one. Uh, we'll let us know one. in the comments what's Anton's nickname, yeah, you, please. Yeah, you've decided in the but, comments. Um, but, but yeah. Yeah. That could go anywhere, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do want to say I do want to talk about Saka quickly um, he didn't limp he didn't limp well, they, he only limps when they're losing so. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to put some respect on his name he actually, deserves it because cupping his ears to the fans yeah. you know big moment and I want to see more of that Bukayo Saka mm -hmm. Bukayo Saka is I know you're not going to agree with this as a, as a Spurs fan and well, Spurs I? fans wouldn't he's one of the darlings of the nation yeah. I, I, I don't I don't disagree with that. Okay, fair I enough. could well, not be biased on an England setting. I mean yeah, I'm not gonna this say is, this is the club setting. Yeah, so. on a club setting I'm gonna say he limps all the time, like right. no problem. But on a on a but this international I'm talking about stage, the yeah. Arsenal, but I'm talking about the Arsenal Saka, right? Because right. England we all agree. But Saka's one of the darlings of the Premier League, like you can't not like him unless you're a Spurs fan. And I loved that he had that bit of shit houseery about him. Like big game. It wasn't just Mr. Nice Guy. He scored, good goal. Don't know, Ben Davis just, I don't know what he's yeah, doing. No, he's poor defending. Poor, poor, poor defending. Poor. But Saka, that, that, he's becoming accustomed, you know, 15 goals now, nine assists in the league. He's becoming accustomed to cutting in, opening out his body, where you know what he's going to do. You know, know what he's going to do. Do you know what the crazy thing is? Do you know the crazy thing? I don't understand how, like, you know this guy's potent with his left foot. Stand on his left foot so he can't go that I way. But also when he goes right, he does it. the one where he puts his foot through and it goes in the roof yeah, and that. I couldn't like, believe how much space Ben Davis left him with. Like everyone was sitting there going like, oh no, he's, he's got, obviously got a plan as to how he's going to sort this out because he's left him in just acres and acres of space. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, as he's got the ball now, you're thinking, going to get close, going to get tight. It wasn't even the greatest touch either, was it? No, but do you know what that is? Have you got a plan here, Ben Davis? What are you doing? The high line calls that. Yeah, the high line. But I can, in a weird way, and I said this on I said this on our fan cam, like, I can accept in a weird way if we're going to concede like that because that's the risk you take. I mean, if you're playing the high line, you've got to leave Mickey there as the one to recover, not Ben Davis, who's got no no legs, nothing. So... I could kind of take that, but he didn't leave Mickey there. Mickey, Mickey weren't there to do the recovery. Mm. Ben Davis weren't even tight to him or close to him. But I, I can't believe that one of the centre backs ain't saying to him, show him line. Like, yeah, just, that's, that's, that's the first thing. If I'm playing centre back with somebody who's <laughs> playing with my fullback playing against a winger who likes to come inside on w their favourite foot. It as well. My, 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 <laughs> first, my first bit of information is show them line. Mm. Yeah, Show them th line. Listen, we, we played exactly into Arsenal's hands the other day. But before day. we move on, Abby, yeah? Oh, wait, 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 Anton. Wait, wait, I've got a question for oh, you as well. another press conference, yeah. right? Okay. Give me one, give me one. So I want to clarify yes. whether you, before this match, 
You say, I want to see Arsenal win the league. Was you supporting Arsenal? I, I, supporting is a strong word. Were you back in Arsenal? Or did you did you want them to win? Or I've said you... I've said this on numerous occasions. Yeah, mm. on this show. What have you said? I've said it to you personally, <laughs> which you've obviously chose not to remember. <laughs> ironically, classic Joel. Classic um, Joel. Exactly, classic <laughs> Joel. Do Arsenal deserve to win this league? One hundred percent. They've been the best team this year. One hundred percent. You don't want us to win it. I don't mind you winning it. I'm not a Man United weird, fan. It's that weird West Ham thing, isn't it? I'm not a Man United yeah. fan. I'm not a, 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 a Man City fan. I'm not a Liverpool fan. I'm a West Ham fan. If you win it, great. Well done. So what about you that FaceTime it. conversation you, you had with Jordan it. earlier on in the week? In fact, I've got evidence <laughs> from Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> who, this is Let me play this. So talk to me, Jordan. So what are you saying? You spoke to Mr. Anton Ferdinand before the Spurs game. What was he saying? Um, we had a quick chat about business, but after that, um, we were all in agreement. This is your setup. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait! You interrupted. Agreement that we want Arsenal to throw it away against Spurs. What? Fire no away. chances I say that. Mister, I never said anything bad about us. Arsenal. Nah. Nothing bad, just want something to lose. What I will say, what I will say is... Sounds wow. like oh, oh, Sounds like no, 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 no. Oh, What no. I will say is... Ah, what are you going to say? Where's the receipts of me saying it? Mate, that's, <laughs> show me that. that's your problem, mate. That's your problem. I've got first-hand witness. Don't witnesses. they conspired against you. Exactly. Just show me the, respe- the receipts of me it coming out of my mouth. First-hand witness, mate. <laughs> Wow. No chance. Well, Joel's what out here it? doing flipping, I don't know, research. DCI Joel. <laughs> I know. Like, DCI. he's doing a madness. U- uni research. <laughs> you got a new, yeah, DCI yeah. Joel, like, man. That's what you are, mate. Line of duty, line of duty settings, right. bro. That's you now. I don't know. Oh, Come in with some next oh, extenuating evidence. Hold on a minute. I'd actually <laughs> say it with chest. I'd say it with chest. That's what I mean. I don't know why you. I'd actually say it with chest. I would. So, Anton, for Like I said about you being Nari FC, I say it with chest. Anton, did you say that? No, categorically no. I did not say that. This is a court of law. That categorically. We need to get free. Way, next week. Yeah, By we the need way, to be held accountable. Before we move on. Okay, right. Mm. Yeah. Abby. Yes, Anton. Actually, no, before I come to you, I need to come oh. back to <laughs> Joe Bell. Actually. You need to come round here and look in camera four. No. For Why? The, I don't for have the to. Fact, just, we won. We won on Sunday. Will you win the league? Yeah. We won. Are you winning the league? Yes. Come and look we are winning the four. league. Camera four needs this. Camera four needs it. Yes, we are winning the league. Listen, you got my audio, just like you got my audio when I said the Could be AI, mate. Could be AI. About Arteta. <laughs> Drake just done a disc, bro, and we don't know who did it. Yeah? yeah. It, we don't even know if this is you. Saying that, you had a good... Uh, good touch in a match. Oh, it's beautiful. And uh, oh, I, I, beautiful. I said it was AI. Yeah, yeah. yeah. disgrace. Yeah. Oh, mate. <laughs> Giving him all this for props. And, mate, he's no one around him. No one there under no pressure, mate. He's got the what? whole whole pitch, mate. He's a no, play. You know, nah. He's a play every day, mate. Do you know what he did? Of course, he's gonna he, do that. The ball comes in the yeah. air. In fact, let's, let's, put the clip in. The let's put the clip in. <laughs> it's the unbelievable. Ball. Let's put the clip in. Just settle there. The ball comes, as you guys can see, the ball comes, it drops, and I think he's, he's even surprised that he's touched it so well. So he, starts, he starts polishing it and going, yeah. Is the ball actually dead? Did I actually do that? I swear I've done that at Highbury. I can't remember, mate. <laughs> Probably the same game. I can't remember. Probably the same game he had TT in his pocket. You know what I mean? What was it? 3 2. Last last team to win at Highbury. Can't remember, mate. I <laughs> swear I brought one down there and all. Probably. When did. TT was about. Can't remember. Hold that. Can't remember. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so shameless. We, no, need but... get, we need to get Thierry O'Reilly on this. <laughs> yeah, tell him that. On a serious note that. now. Nah. Right, go on. Abby. Yes. Before we move on. For the third on. time, sorry, yeah. What do you want? Yeah. Sorry. Why are you getting angry? Oh, Abby. So passive aggressive. I know. Wow. Or just not even passive. It's just straight just up. Aggressive. Actually, just aggressive. Because aggressive. Yeah. you're just trolling from behind. The, just just come and say it. Come and sit here. Say it to camera four. Stop trolling. You didn't okay, win. Okay, camera four for Abby, please. Mm-hmm. Abby to camera four. Camera four to Abby. Yes, Anton. How does it feel that <laughs> your team, after your cry out to do it, did not do as you asked. How does it feel for you as the fan who, fair play to you, fronted it up? How does it feel, man? Because they let you down massive. Yeah. Like massively let you down. It's it, it, it shit, like it hurts. But what can I say? You know, we had one job and London, London didn't rise. Like Chelsea last week, we didn't get slapped up like Chelsea though. Mm-mm. Like we didn't. And actually, like I actually don't think Spurs played that 
badly get, no, in the can game. Can you please leave the building? <laughs> Spurs Please didn't play that badly. Your first half is one of the worst I've seen. <laughs> That's something right. I'm trying to tell you, but you're 3-0 down at half time. It means you played badly. Shall I get the stats out? No, see, that's no, what she did. No, I don't want to see that's stats. On the eye... <laughs> You okay. conceded three goals. Okay, fine. All right. Tottenham did what Tottenham do. They were Spursy. They oh, let me down. And I should have known they were going to let me down. Okay. You Are you happy done. now? I'm happy now. Are you, you happy? You We've lost happy. All, all three London derbies have been lost at home this season. Am I happy about it? Does it sound like I'm happy about it, Anton? Who, who else do you lose to? <laughs> Shouldn't have lost that game. Shouldn't have lost that game either. Well, but on a serious note, though, as well, now I'm going to go again. Sorry, I'm going to go again. Okay. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Let's talk about Man United. Yeah, let's talk about Man United. 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 Are we going to get, yeah. today, are we going to get yeah. mix zone flex? All right. Yeah? Yeah. Or are you going to be open and honest Mate. about this Marcus Rashford situation? Mate, you've seen my videos. You've seen He's what not I really that mixed zone at the minute. Actually. Mate, I, I, this mixed zone thing that you lot keep saying, like I don't talk up the things. It's just, <laughs> talk about narrative. That's a false narrative. No, it wasn't. It wasn't no, a false narrative. It was. The last about... couple of weeks, it's not a false narrative. <laughs> Ask me a question. Um, okay, are you Eric Ten Hag? No, because we're talking about you, Okay, but I'm just asking you, first and foremost, because you have been mix zoning on this. Mix zoning you, on what? Are no, you, mix. camera four or <laughs> camera two? Right. Camera four or two. Yeah. Are you Ten Hag in or out? I'm t I'm on Ineos make the right decision. No. That's, no. This is why you're flip flop. Yeah. <laughs> just me. I'm on Ineos make the right decision. Put, put your know. name to something. Put your name this to is one the, of the, it. I done a in or I've out. done a video today, right, with Joel, talking about exactly this. In this space, there is this emphasis on you must be A or you must be B. Hang on a minute. You don't get to tell me what I must be. Why can't I work this out myself and think, actually, I, I'm taking okay, more evidence Okay, but if, you're, if, if you had to, no, if you had Why to make a decision, but you had to make a decision. But I don't. But I'm asking you, if you had Any to, do. stop. I don't know. There's reasons if why, you there, had there's to reasons make a that decision. I can see that well, are good but and there's if reasons you're that... You're can you that, help me that, here? That, if he had to you make a decision, mind that, you know, you're decided, you know, why can't you know, I be undecided? Because what you know, happens if you had to make a decision? But I you're, don't. you're on a wooden fence, you know, that will, will start giving you splinters. No, mate, I've said, I've Come said, on. even on last week, and I, when I said it, it was good enough then. When I said it last it's week, I said, I don't, I think it's untenable. Then he said, what's untenable? I don't think he can turn okay, it around. Okay, Marcus Rashford, should he stay or should he go? I think he should go. Okay, at least we got one answer. Mm -hmm. I think he should go. It I'm wasn't down camera four, but it's fine. I How do you I feel? Go. Question, question, <laughs> question. How do you feel <laughs> after all what's gone on and people talk about, I saw a tweet of, of a Man United fan uh, protect and trying to show him support and say like, this is abuse that you're getting, mm. you know, and he retweeted the tweet. And by the way, just to clarify, I don't condone any forms of abuse. Mm. Correct. Um, but for that to be happening, that to be for that to be being said, and all of a sudden, you do a video with a music artist in the car with the tunes on and stuff like that. It's almost like, is he poking the fans to go like, whatever? I think he's in a, he's in a bad position because one thing is abuse 100%. Like that, of course he's had abuse and that's wrong. Mm -hmm. That is wrong. When you're not talking about his footballing performance and you're talking about calling him names or, yeah, or you know what I mean, talking about how much money he earns and saying that he's this and that. And just, you're not talking about what you're seeing on the, the pitch. fundamentals. Yeah. The fundamentals, fundamentals. Because for me, I'm not interested in all that. If you've got chains, yeah. you listen to this music, you've got that just car. Just deliver on the pitch. I want to see yeah. a young brother do really well. 100%. I'm happy for you. And actually my frustration stems from somebody from our academy who is the face of Man United yep. not doing it. Mm. That's my only frustration. Mm -hmm. Then my frustration is the points and instances in which he chooses to speak. I yep. think they're the wrong times. Yeah. I really, really do. I think the Players' Tribune interview didn't have the perceived um, That's perception. What I mean. That's what I mean. I'm not against him doing stuff for the culture. Yeah. You know, I love the culture. Let's clarify that. Yeah. Chains, yeah. being in music videos. I've done it. I've been yeah. in music videos when I was playing. Which yeah. one was it? What yeah, were you T2, in? Heartbroken, <laughs> you said. Were you actually in that video? Of course I was. Yeah, you no talking way. About? Yeah. yeah really so, so, so like, there. I know. I need to watch I, that back. I, so I know, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I'm all for that. It is the timing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. The timing time is, is almost like he's poking the bear. And, and yeah. realistically... Antagonistic. Yes. If, you're, if you're talking about Marcus Rashford's performances, which most of the fans that I associate with anyway, or the fans that are in my community, because I don't condone the whole like mm -mm. abuse thing mm. on my platform, it will just get shut down. 
the people that are talking in my platform and the wider community that I associate with are talking about his performances. And guess what? His performances have been way off it. And one thing is, you're in bad form, you can't hit the target, it's just not going for you. And mm. the other thing is application and yeah. attitude. And, you know, look, I haven't, st I still haven't said, you know, you clown, get out, what are you, because there could be things going on mm. off, off the pitch that are clearly affecting him. Mm -hmm. And now it's got to the point, I'm being honest, I'm worried for him because that, that, that response to that tweet was at 12.30 at night, yeah. right? To a, to a random uh, fan who's, I don't know, a few hundred followers just saying something. So first of all, and he hasn't added Marcus Rashford. So first of all, it's late at night. This is what the picture I'm seeing is, and I could mm -hmm. be wrong. Yeah. Maybe someone from that camp, if they see that, I don't know, can put it right. This is how I saw it as a fan. It's late at night. Uh, I'm gone onto Twitter, X. I've typed in my own name. Mm. to see who's saying what about me. There is gonna be a boost. So I've just filtered to yeah. find something that I wanna I can, get off my chest that suits what I wanna say. I've been I've been there. Jump on I'm gonna quote there. retweet that and then say that. And that wasn't Marcus Rashford, the brand talking. You no. can tell that he had his, did the phone in his fingers, right? In his hands. So for me, I'm looking at it like, he does he need extra help with is this? It a cry, is, is it a cry for a help? A cry for yeah. help. And that's where it becomes again, forget the like, the stuff going on in the picture, like what's happening with Marcus? Something's Behind the wrong. Scenes, yeah. And for me, that's why when I look at it holistically and say, from a club perspective and a player perspective, if the right money came in, which I know that um, David Ornstein and many other reporters who are really close to the situation have reported that it's not the preference to sell Marcus Rashford and Marcus Rashford does want to stay. However, mm. if an astronomical bid did come in and he wanted to leave, then they would look at it. For me, I see that as, every player's got a price now. What we're hearing at Man United now, within reason, is that whether it's Bruno, whether it's Onana, whether it's Rashford, we don't want to sell these players, but put something down on the table big enough, we'll have a look at it. That's basically yeah. saying they've got a price. Mm. If, I'm Mark, if I'm Marcus Rashford, I'm gone. I'm, I, I think now you're at a stage now where, like you said, we don't know the ins and outs. We're looking from the outside in. Was that a cry for help? We don't know. However, looking at his football, he looks too comfortable. Do you know what I mean? Like he looks needs too a new comfortable. He needs something yeah. new that might spark him again. Because there's undoubtedly there's talent in that in in, in him. Mm. You know? It's just where is he gonna go now? That's what the that, and, like and, and what does it look yeah. like for him? But if I'm Marcus Rashford, I'm leaving Man United now to try and rejuvenate my career, mm. but also come away from carrying this juggernaut of a club on my back. If I'm not, I'm gone. When I don't think, when I, well, I've said this before on a few podcasts, I don't think that like he's the player attribute wise or the character characteristically to actually be that guy. Yeah. Like that's the thing you don't, for me. You don't I have, think, really you, know you I mean? don't have one. Like, and, and Man United, no, the, the, we don't have one. Yeah, we don't. And don't get me wrong, th th this isn't just all on Rashford. We've done this for years. Of course. Yeah. With Pogba, now you're the poster boy. Uh, it was then Mason Greenwood. Now it's Rashford, yeah. then or well, Mason because Mount got it's signed straight away. It's number seven. It's show. because of the size of the club. So it's like need you need to have boy. someone that is, you know, the attention is on. So if you're yeah. not doing work, goes on that one person. 101 marketing is the, yeah. it's the blueprint of marketing. Correct. And I think he's. But sometimes from the, the pressure's the, yeah, the pressure's that too much. profiling of Rashford, the brand and the player of yeah. what he actually has grown up to be hasn't transpired into what he was built up to to, to, to get to. And, he knows, and now there's and a shortfall, and that shortfall's bigger sure. than it's ever been. And he's gone. at an age where it's no longer, you, can, you can't you can be saying, oh, oh um, you've got time on your side. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He's now in his prime. He's, 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 about to enter he's, into, he's it. into his prime, coming yeah. into his prime now. Yeah. Yeah. You can't be talking, oh, he, he, he's got talent. No, no, no. And no, it's no. sad, it is, honestly, I say this as a fan, of, like, I'm like, you know what, this is this is sad. I don't, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see him miserable and looking like he can't be arts. I don't want to see us fans like he's the number 10, he's come through the academy, he's the Royal Rovers mm. that is supposed to do everything and he can't. I don't want to see it. So you're right. I just want to see him be happy and us move on personally. Um, Mo Salah, just really quickly. Just before we get into this. God, it's always something, isn't it? I'm going to look down camera one. Wow. Oh, camera Young one. Where are you? <laughs> Youngen, yes, where are you? Yes, yes, where yes, are you? yes, yes, yeah? yes, yes. You was meant to come to the game on Saturday, declined. Did it come? Wow. Nathaniel, Nathaniel oh, declined. Oh, wow. He, was he didn't come. To come. He was supposed to come to the game. He was supposed, to, oh, come yeah, to, the, he said to, supposed to come to the game. That's wild. Wow. Nathaniel declined. I have to say this, yeah, about Liverpool. I don't like, I don't like, you talk about narrative FCs. 
there is this narrative that <laughs> won't arrive that they haven't bottled the hell out of this league. It's really, really annoying me, <laughs> right? When Arsenal were top for all them times, all them yeah. weeks. That's a bottle. Christmas, no, yeah, it is. Thank That's you. At it one point, bottle. no, it is. And we, and we rightfully called it out. We yeah. rightfully called it out, yes or no? Yes, we've yeah. called so it out. So when it's Liverpool on the farewell tour, when Trent in right, the early farewell. season put one down, three to go, oh, yeah, oh, wow. and all that stuff. Well, we're calling yeah. that out, okay. But yeah, yeah we right. are okay. calling it out because right. we're going to call a spade a spade here. We, I just okay. want consistent energy of what we do. Okay. okay. Sure. Why are we not saying, well, Liverpool have been top for a long time. Camera four. Where Liverpool have been top for a long time, yeah? <laughs> They've spent months and weeks at the top. They've had like a six point gap at one stage. They've knocked Arsenal out of the FA Cup. They're celebrating that. You know, they've won the Carabao Cup. They're celebrating that as they should. They're on a farewell tour. All of a sudden, after a game or two, they're like, yeah, no, nah, we're just done. Yeah, 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 it's just, it's just over. <laughs> you don't, I'm sorry, you don't get to say that. Right. Just because you've won the Premier League in recent years and Jurgen Klopp's an and amazing manager. And the Because you've won all of it, under this manager, fantastic. But you don't get to get to the end game and as big as you are and as good as you've been, winning all them games, scoring all them goals, just go, yeah. Ah, oh, well, you know, it's a shame. Nunes can't hit a barn door. Yeah. Yeah. They were winning loads of games. They were doing all right. Klopp's announced he's retiring. It's all gone to shit. And we're just going, ah, oh, I'll tell you what. Two, two community shields as well, mate. Uh, oh, oh my God, I can't bear us. <laughs> Joe, get out. Can't get out, But I, I just, I, and this, listen, some of it is the United in me, but also I'm actually being deadly serious here. Forget my bias towards Liverpool because I don't like Liverpool. I'm actually being serious here. When we call out, because it's the same thing with Arsenal, I don't particularly like okay, Arsenal. Fine. Arsenal. Then they, then they Last year, I, bought, I called Arsenal out for bottling it. They spent a lot of time on the top. Okay. But Liverpool, I just feel like there hasn't really been this, this talk about like, hang on a minute. They were banging this, and now they're just not. They, and we're just like, so if them. so if Man if Man City win every game now from now to the end of the season, they win it, and they win it. Mm. Have Arsenal bottled it? I wouldn't say they bottled it this time. Why not? I would say that they lost one game that they shouldn't have lost, which is exactly. Yeah, so but, that's bottled. No, but what Liverpool done, mate? They had one win in eight. They went on a shit run. So it started from the FA Cup. Then, then they beat Fulham. They beat Fulham in between that. Then they didn't, didn't flex. Right. No, 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 no. No, they did pull if it. They, if they, they went out, they went out. They went out of everything. If Arsenal do not win the league this year because yeah. Man City win the rest of their I games, say it's bottling. you know why I wouldn't say it's bottling. No, I'll tell you exactly. I'm going to tell you exactly why it's not bottling. The same reason when when Liverpool went toe to toe mm. with one of the best teams we've seen in the last decade, nobody said that Liverpool bottled it when they didn't win the league by one point or one game because mm. you're up against a mammoth machine. Arsenal bottled it last season because it was over before the end of the season was even there. They bottled it at West Ham. They were I, I swear up against, I remember people they saying. Bottled it, they bottled it I against, swear, and people say I heard people saying the Palace game at Sellers Park no, they that, bottled it well that was but then but that, yeah, that, that was that was because then they then they then they fell off but the, I'm talking about the recent years when they're up against this Man City team Liverpool have come very very close yeah. to the point where the amount of points they got is a joke the amount of goals they scored it's just that Man City are too but good I get that if Arsenal, I, I, if I get Arsenal that. win all the rest of their games and lose the thing by two points you can't say Arsenal but they should have they should but but they should have beat Aston Villa. Absolutely, they're, on the, they're on the way no, to the title. They should have beat Aston Villa, that, but they didn't. But that's a learn. That's a learning curve. And I would, I would say, I, what I would say is and that. And by the way, you spent how much money? Thank you. Yeah, to get closer. That, but that's what it is again. That's why Jurgen Klopp, who's a great manager, mm. has only got one against this manager. Well, I still think that Liverpool have still won a trophy this season. So I'm not saying that they haven't dropped Carabao off. Cup. Oh, it's still a trophy. Yeah, but it's not. They, but they I've, still won a trophy this year. But they've been in the title race the whole time, and then near the end, they just fell off. Carabao Cup's not going to be But they're still... They're not gonna have, are they going to have a parade for that Carabao Cup? Well, apparently not. Yeah. But, but but mathematically, yeah. they technically are still in a title race. If they beat Spurs on the weekend, they're still in it. I'm not saying they they, they will. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a <laughs> yaya yeah, yeah, go that. Have you, have, you, have you not realised my week? Who, what's your week? <laughs> who so, you got? So obviously Arsenal, Arsenal was, was Sunday. Yeah. I've got Chelsea tomorrow. Where? The bridge? Yeah, the bridge. Oh, which I think we've won oh, once no. in about 25 years. Um, oh, no. And then... We Anfield. go to Anfield, which we haven't won at since 2011. Oh my god! So goodness. cool. It's a good week. I'm for looking me. forward to next week again. <laughs> <laughs> Raw. Raw. It's Abby Summers, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I just think that Liverpool are getting um, an easy ride, but maybe it's just me. Let me know at home. What do you guys think? Am I just being Man United bias here? Yeah. But you see, Mo Salah. I want to talk about Mo Salah. Quickly talk about Mo Salah. Mo Salah. To do that. On the sideline. Did you see it? Um, in the L live and direct. <laughs> live and direct. I was all up in that. I was live and direct. <laughs> you know my thing. I was live and direct. 
Then I was in the press conference oh, after. Yeah. Yeah. Like, doing, Anton's doing just doing the media rounds, but he's not even doing me. He just, just, just popping. Let me just go and see what he's saying. The presser. Sure. <laughs> then let me go mix though. Let me just yeah. see. Yeah. He's got that that, that <laughs> media. He's I mean, he just wanders around. Media I love it. Pass. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> when I'm hit, like obviously Jurgen Klopp put it to bed straight away. Mm. It was dealt with, whatever. But. Watching Jurgen the way that he is and the way that he's with his players, that would have cut deep, like yeah. massively, massively cut deep. Yeah. As a player, who, by the way, Jurgen Klopp has helped Mo Salah get to where he's he's got to and won what he's won. I almost think flipping like, where's your respect, mm. so to speak? Do you, you know what I mean? The lack of respect there. Hundred percent, not just for the manager, but for the for the, for the fans, for the club as a whole. You know, um, was it not just high I, levels of like no, but I, but I also, yeah. I'm like, on the bench. I shouldn't be. But I also understand the other side of it yeah. from a player, where the players going. Do you know what? How many times have I taken us out of the shit? Mm. How many times have I done it? We, we're going to try and win the league. We're still in it at this moment in time. How am I not playing? Yeah. yeah. So I get it. I get it. The lip reading says seven years of service. By the way. Did it? Did it really? That's, wow. That's from Joey Knight, by the way. So if it's wrong, <laughs> that's what Joey might not be it's accurate. This is breaking news, Joey, <laughs> Joey Knight. Trust me, bro. Good tear. Good tear. Good tear. Good tear. Like, if he says it, I'll believe him because he'll say otherwise. Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know? Do you know what? Do you know what? I also I think, and I watched Liverpool. I watched them closely, obviously, because I was at the game. The wheels are falling off over there because, really? like, I'm seeing ver big verge hands going everywhere, doing the Bruno Fernandez thing and all that, and I'm like, <laughs> she like, never played for Liverpool again, mate. That's why I no, get told when it's Bruno, no, mate. No, <laughs> but it's like, can't stop it. It's and disgrace. you see the actual goal. That, Said he was finished. Yeah, you, you are, mate. The, you see the goal, the le the equaliser. <laughs> you see the equaliser. Yeah. Do you know why they switched off? Because Trent and Verge were arguing. Mm. That's why they switched off, and then Mo Kudos got the. The, the short corner crossed it in and we scored. Hang on a minute. Well, Mo, is that what you like? You like the Mo Kudas? Mo Kudas. Is that the new? Huh? Mohamed Kuda. Mo Kudas. Oh, Mo, yeah, but Mo, Mo like this. Like is Mo, that, like is that Mo what's Salah. Going on okay. Mo Kudas. Do you know who you're talking to? <laughs> He, he literally he runs West Ham, don't you know? I, I don't run. He it. is no, West I Ham. Don't. I, don't. I don't. But you are West Ham. I am West you Ham. You are West Ham. Listen, when he first signed, I've done I've done his first interview. Correct. Good interview, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Shout out. Did Mo. watch it. Mo, Mo to me. Mo. Mo. Okay. Mo. Big yeah. big Mo. All right. All right. Big okay. Mo big okay. Mo too. You know I mean? just One like, Mo's just, leaving and the just, next Mo's coming. <laughs> yeah, I like what you're doing just, there. There's a new Mo like, in town. Yeah. Just like <laughs> Just like when it, you go and mix them, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron yeah. Basaka comes, yeah. yeah. It's Bridger vibes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's True. the same team, guys. I think we should wrap up. This has been the take on, there's been a lot for you to depict. Please let us know what you're feeling in the comments. Who's been outrageous? Who's been tolerable? Who's been intolerable? Let us know. Intolerable Inter Anton, that's the name. See? That's the see? name. Look, this is what intolerable it is. We'll see you Anton. in the next episode next week. Peace.